Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Not again. Ford just stuck it to proud Americans in infuriating announcement effective now. If you didn't know yet, then you should know that Ford owns the Detroit Lions, who are a mediocre team at best. They've decided to push back on the narrative that President Donald Trump and many of America's most patriotic football fans have been saying all along. Stop protesting during the national anthem. Fans are okay with players protesting on their own time and standing up for whatever cause they wish, but fans would like to see their sports and entertainment without the politics mixed in. Politics have made things toxic and divisive, sending fans away anytime a player disrespects the nation when they take a knee during the anthem. However, Ford Motor Company, built in America, is taking a knee. They have made it known that they will support the NFL players who protest. Ford probably should take a look at Nike's stock which reportedly dropped after they made Colin Kaepernick the face of their ad campaign to celebrate 30 years of telling people to just do it, many of whom are now saying no thanks and just don't do it. Ford's message was that they respect individuals' rights to express views, but they forgot to mention that players were protesting while they were at work. People paying hundreds of dollars to watch a football game were not happy with the protests and didn't want social justice warriors ruining the NFL experience with their protests. Football fans want football, not a political sideshow where people trash our country. Fans pay the bills, so the players need to respect them as individuals as well. A website named The Grio stated more about Ford's decision. We respect individuals' rights to express their views, even if they are not ones we share, the company said on Monday. That's part of what makes America great. The company made the announcement after Trump on Friday urged people to protest the NFL and said owners should fire players who decide to kneel during the national anthem, CNN reports. Ford has a heavy stake in the NFL with team ownership and last year entered into a three-year agreement making the Ford F-Series the league's official truck. The NFL has said it would not penalize players who refuse to take the field during the national anthem. Martha Firestone Ford, owner, and chairwoman of the Detroit Lions and a member of the Ford family, fired back at Trump for his divisive comments. Our game has long provided a powerful platform for dialogue and positive change in many communities throughout our nation, she said. Negative and disrespectful comments suggesting otherwise are contrary to the founding principles of our country, and we do not support those comments or opinions. Ford also owns the naming rights to the Ford Field in Detroit. Missing the whole point, on Sunday, Trump encouraged fans to protest. Sports fans should never condone players that do not stand proud for their national anthem or their country, he tweeted on Sunday. If NFL fans refuse to go to games until players stop disrespecting our country, you will see change take place fast, he tweeted. Trump continued his stream of lies saying his constant attacks aren't racially motivated. The issue of kneeling has nothing to do with race. It is about respect for our country, flag, and national anthem. NFL must respect this, Trump said in another tweet. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell said that divisive comments demonstrate an unfortunate lack of respect for the NFL. Here's the thing that Roger, Ford, and the protesting players need to realize. Football fans want football, not politics. We pay tons of money for tickets, overpriced food and drinks, parking lot parties, and everything else just to watch guys crack each other's skulls and throw the ball around better than we can. We pay for an athletic display of strength, speed, stamina and every once in a while a funny touchdown dance. What we don't pay for are for players to protest during the national anthem. The national anthem is the one moment during the game when fans and members of opposing forces stand in unity to pay respects to our nation and be thankful for what they have. The national anthem brings people together and football fans are tired of greedy self-righteous players using it to divide us. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.